The Riti is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. d5 occupies the center and controls the e4 and c4 squares. The king's Indian attack prepares to develop the bishop to g2, allowing black to build up a strong center which white will later try to undermine. bg4 develops the bishop and immediately attacks the knight on f3. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. c6 supports the d5 pawn and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. c4 takes space in the center and attacks the d5 pawn. This prepares the bishop for development. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Takes back. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. That's not a mistake but it's not the best move either. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. This threatens to pin a knight to the king. It is a mistake. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only good move. This prevents the opponent from being able to pin a knight to the king. It is a great move. The game was close to balanced but now white is worse. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. This threatens to kick a bishop. It is best. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is best. There was only one good move there. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Recaptures. It is best. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This allows the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is a mistake. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is best. 
an active king is critical in the endgame and getting it off of the back rank is the first step. It is best.